a 39-inch willow oak that we're going to be testing for stability. We're going to be uh, using a resistor graft today to uh, test the root flares of the tree. We're going to start with this first one here. And the resistor graft is used to test the resistance of the needle, small needle going into the tree compared to the good wood that's in the tree, or bad wood. And currently, the graft is showing is going through the bark, so it's real, real thin. And as we continue to grow, this needle will bounce back and forth, showing us what uh, kind of resistance we are seeing in the tree. Looking at this root flare initially, it would lead us to assume that there was probably some decay in there, but as we're uh, seeing on the graph, we have nice, compactly tight wood, it looks like. Most people will believe that a hollow tree is a hazardous tree, but trees kind of work on the skyscraper process where they can be hollow at times as long as there's enough good outer holding wood on the, uh, on the outside to keep the tree stable and allow it to sway properly. So how are you deciphering the compaction of the wood based on that, uh, that graph that you're looking at right here? Yeah, you can tell here by the kind of the, the very tightly compacted uh, graph right there that we're hitting into good uh, solid holding wood. When we see it kind of trail off uh, at the beginning, as you kind of see there's no resistance kind of going through the bark here initially. Um, that we know that that's just not good holding wood. So if we see big dips, big hollow spaces, it'll be pretty evident in here. So that's the completion of our first drill. We're going to end up drilling all the major root flares to make sure that the tree is uh, structurally sound. Right, so we're going to do a test drill in this area right here. We can see that there is some wood shavings and some frass, as well as the identification of some uh, uh, carpenter ants coming through here. So we know that there's probably a level of decay right there. So we're going to go ahead and drill that spot out just to kind of see what kind of response we get.
you can tell initially we had uh, some decay coming in here. We're hitting into some good solid wood. And then it starts to space out a little bit, telling us that there's probably some pockets of decay in there. zoom in here you can see the big drop off and kind of trailing off of those lines right there once again hitting another pocket of decay This, uh, this drill wasn't as inspiring, but it looks like there's probably a good enough holding wood. And as uh, once we remove the, uh, the needle, we can do some further visual inspections as well. Pulling out the root flares, we noticed this, maybe just a couple of small decay spots, but uh, the tree is very stable and very healthy. So we're gonna recommend a treatment to treat the carpenter ants, do a little dead wooding and pruning. The tree should be good to go. Thank you for our demonstration today.